Alright, so I'm gonna try and record this game again. I uh, I started this on my other computer and it just wouldn't run correct, so uh, let's do this again. So this is probably my second favorite game of all time. I fucking love this game. One of the absolute best games ever made. Uh, I'm gonna change the volume here a little bit and lower this so it isn't as loud. All right. Let's go ahead and load. So I'm gonna load this one. Then we'll start anew again. And hopefully it runs good this time. I got a beefy ass computer. But, but like I said, I fucking... Um, absolutely love this goddamn game. So good. Such a good story. Fifteen years ago, there was a war. There's a bird. I'm sorry. Well, war has broken out here plenty of times before. They've tried to invade the Southlands through the Northern Valley time and time again. Luck was never on their side, though, and their victories didn't last long. They didn't realize that times had changed. Facing one defeat after another, losing territory and watching their nation dwindle, they built up their industrial strength to unprecedented heights and used it to wage one final battle against the world. That was 15 years ago. They fought ferociously, but were utterly defeated. The Belkins then committed the unthinkable. They used nuclear weapons on their own soil. Seeing this tragedy unfold before their own eyes, the victorious countries vowed to throw down their weapons. The world was once again at peace. And thanks to them, it seemed it would last forever. On a distant island, far away from civilization, the protectors of the peace take to the skies. Alright, let's see if this runs a bit better. It started during this cutscene, I think. Red alert! Oh, we're better. I was in the sky, trying to get the training team in my viewfinder from the rear seat of the lead plane. My pilot in the front seat was howling at the earth below. Sorry about this. The captain's apology to me seemed misplaced. One instructor had survived the fight but crashed on landing. The other one was killed in action high up in the clouds. It wasn't his fault that the unidentified aircraft fired on us without warning. Nor was it his fault that the low altitude area where he sent his trainees was directly in front of the enemy. Eight people died because the command room had misplaced some zeros. That pilot in the number seven was amazing. Did you see her fight back? I couldn't bear to watch. Nagase, you keep flying like that and you'll die real soon. I won't die, sir. The only surviving trainee's voice was almost a whisper. Are you sure? You look like you couldn't hurt a fly.
Her face was pale, but she still managed to smile a bit for the camera. The photo, along with my camera, was confiscated by base security. It was as if our little undeclared war never happened. I came to cover this remote island because I heard that a very unique squadron leader was stationed here. I didn't realize he was this unique, though. This bad-mouthed, good-natured old firebrand could take the greenest of rookies and forge him into a fearsome fighter pilot. Of course, that possibility vanished with today's encounter. The only crew he had left now were Second Lieutenant Nagase and the few pilots that happened to be on the ground that day. I know you don't like this, but we're short on people. Starting tomorrow, all you nuggets are gonna be sitting alert. If we launch, stay glued to me up there. Nagase? Sir. You're flying number two on my wing. Gotta keep an eye on you or who knows what you'll get yourself into. Go boys. Sure, birds. As you can hear the bird in the background, which hopefully will shut the fuck up. At ease, people! But don't get too comfortable. It's a grave situation for all of us right now. Let's get this briefing started. Another oh, I'm gonna be humming on origin has entered Ocean Federation airspace. We have confirmed the target type as a strategic recon plane flying at very high altitude. Despite our repeated warnings, it continued to penetrate our ADIS and was fired upon by Ocean Coastal Defense Force SAMs. We believe one of our SAMs damaged the unknown plane, but did not destroy it. Radar shows that the aircraft is currently losing altitude and is attempting to egress feet wet towards the ocean. Intercept this target and force it to land for identification. Do not fire upon this aircraft until further orders are transmitted. But as I said, I interrupted him, but I'm going to be humming a lot of the music from this game because I love it. Um, stuff like that. Can you... Let me change... What is this? Okay. Can change these? Oh, okay. Basically invert. Okay. Go ahead and save over the, the second one. This is the one I was trying to do, I believe. I think. I don't fucking know. Seems to be Oh my god. My textures. Might fix that after this video, but you're gonna have to deal with it. Wardog 4, hello? Can you hear me, kid? You better be marking our tail, son. Looks like you're confident at least. Don't get separated from me. Man, I'm glad you right, drew the short straw talking. instead of me. Second Lieutenant Alvin H. Davenport. Sip it. You need a nickname too? You gotta fix everything? God damn it. Alright, hang on. Hang on. I apologize. I am not professional whatsoever. Where is my... Is I gotta fix this controller? It's gonna fuck with me. Can I do it while I'm... Where the hell is the...
Let's see if that fixed it. I respectfully ask to be called Chopper, sir. I'm afraid I may not be able to respond to any other moniker. That does fit you well. I've got a better name for you, but I'll keep it to myself. Okay? Ah, cut me some slack, man. Tally ho, we've got company. Let's go. You're forbidden to fire until I get permission, understand? Yeah, I'll Good fix boy. these textures later. I'm gonna do this first episode first. Alright, where's Motormouth Chopper? <laughs> That's your name for me? You got a knack for comic dialogue. You mind sending a surrender request for me? Oh no, please, age before beauty. I'm real shy around strangers, you know. Sheesh. Testing, testing. Attention, unidentified aircraft. Set your course for our beacon immediately. Fuck. Good. Uh, Almost ran into that guy, to the nearest airfield. Lower your gear if you understand. These textures. I'll fix them, don't worry. Warning, we have four high-speed bogeys inbound. Approaching unknown aircraft bearing 280, altitude 6000. Hold your fire until further orders. Crossing the pond to fly cover for their spy plane, huh? Now there's a fighter pilot worth his wings. Enemy inbound bearing 280, head on. Another thing too, if you see dialogue at the top, to like that, okay. where it's colored in, Good it's boy. basically important information or something. So he told me not to fire, and it was bolded in, it was colored in text. Heads up! They're firing on us! War Dog Squadron, weapon safe. Hold your fire until further orders. Oh, come on! Those aren't blanks they're firing out there! Shut your mouth and fire back! Captain Bartlett, this is Thunderhead. You are violating direct orders. Shove it! I'm not gonna watch any more of my pilots die. Edge, engaging. We're gonna shoot them all down, kid. Yeah, yeah. You mind if I grab this kill? I will, you know. Go ahead. War Dog Squadron, weapon sinker. Hold your fire until further orders. Turning to engage bandits. Looks like we can hold our own out here. You guys fly better than I thought. Is he dodging the clouds or something? What the hell's wrong with you? I feel like talking? I'm the only one being targeted. You talk too much, that's why. You're the only one they hear. All unknown bogey aircraft destroyed. This is your captain. Can you hear my voice? Good. Looks like we can all hear each other. You all alive? Alright. Nice work, Nuggets. Four dog four, you still following us? Well, to commemorate the fact that we all made it out of that battle alive, I'm gonna let you keep your nickname. From now on, I'm gonna call you Kid, no matter what. Got it? Good. Man, I swear. Textures. And 
that just shows you your replay. Emergency transmission from Central. Alright, let me see if I can Google. find it I'll find it. You wait a damn moment. Okay, so, okay, that's the problem. Change this to... This fixes it. The whole affair with the unidentified aircraft was covered up. There was even a rumor going around that it was actually a UFO. Officially, the world was still at peace. Having witnessed the battle myself, I wasn't allowed to leave the island. Why do they even bother reprimanding me anymore? I know I'm gonna be stuck at Captain forever. Who do you think's covering up the battle? Listen, the only thing across that ocean is Murska Air Base. That's Yuktabanian territory. But haven't we been allies with the Ukes since the war 15 years ago? Yeah. That's why we got people working their asses off trying to confirm what the hell's going on over there. I bet they've got hotlines ringing off the hook somewhere upstairs. The government doesn't want to get the public riled up with all this, you know? But it doesn't matter. Soldiers like us are too stupid to think for ourselves, so we just gotta keep our mouths shut when they tell us to. I feel kinda bad for you, actually. <laughs> it's alright. I get to be with you guys. Captain's probably hating this more than anybody. Hmm? He used to have a lady friend over in Yurk to Ah, uh, that's just an old war wound now. All right, so let's hope. No. Hope this fixed it. A ship of unknown origin has been detected approaching the Sand Island coastline. We've confirmed that this ship has launched numerous unmanned aerial vehicles probably used for reconnaissance. The UAV will likely return to the launch ship for retrieval after completing their spy operations. You are to halt this operation by intercepting and destroying these recon drones before they can be recovered by the ship. However, do not attack the ship until further orders are transmitted. So 
I need to maybe change settings again because that seemed to kind of slow down right there, but we'll find out. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Quit making that popping noise. That pisses me off. Don't do that. It's the wrong goddamn button. I apologize. I'm trying to fix it. God damn it. So you have to do software, but there's no. Let's try this one. No, that does not work either. I guess we're just gonna have to have fucked up textures. How did I get this to work on my other computer? Keep hitting the wrong goddamn button. Unmanned recon drones returning to spy vessel. Shoot them down before they. See, there's gotta be a way to fix this. I'm, I'm spinning the whole video trying to fix this shit, and I should be doing it off screen, but. Who will? Kind of fixed it. That gang? All right, let's go. So I don't know. One more time. One more thing I want to try. Just one more thing. Yeah, there's a way to fix the texture. I've done it on my other computer, and that's a I'm lower glad end. There aren't any live people in these things, aren't you? So we can just shoot them down and not worry about it. You better not get sloppy just because they're unmanned drones. First the spy plane, then drones, huh? Warning: multiple buggies inbound, closing fast. Same attack access as before. 280, same vector as last time. Jeez, how many planes they got lined up at the border? We've only got four on our side. We better abort. This way. Think you can stick to my tail? Good boy. Captain Bartlett! Enemy fire confirmed. Turning to engage. 
Edge engaging. Heartbreak one engaging. Chopper engaging. Bulldog, you are not cleared to engage at this time. We're gonna shoot them all down, kid. Back again, huh? Hope you're ready to fight this time. Enemy squadron has commenced counterattack. You splashed an enemy without permission to engage? What are you thinking, War Dog? Are those the same fighters from before? I still can't figure out where they're from. baby the reconnaissance UAV and the unidentified fighter aircraft that bounced us during the mission have been shot down the country of origin of the ship is still unknown but it has ceased operations in our maritime defense zone and has departed the area once we sanitize our coastal waters we will conduct a search and rescue mission to find captain Bartlett who was shot down Furthermore, the Union of Yuktobanian Republics has officially declared war on the Ocean Federation. Alright, so I guess I'll do one more mission real quick, and then I got to do this ending. I, I'm going to mess around with settings. I don't want to do it on, on video again. I'm wasting too much time doing that. So I'm going to see if I can fix the texture. Probably not going to be able to do that. You're probably going to do this. It's going to look like ass. But I, I fixed it one time, so I'm sure I can do it again. This was the room, or the cell, I had been assigned to. Captain Hamilton. Unlike his superior, the base commander who locked me in here, he's been very reasonable with me. He even got my camera back. He told me that if his uncle wasn't a soldier, he would have liked to have a job like mine. Well, we don't have any reason to hold you anymore. What do you mean? Yuktobania just declared war. They've launched an offensive simultaneously, too. Our naval port at St. Hewlett is getting bombed right now. There were only... 
only three of them now. circumstances, I'll be issuing an emergency in-flight briefing. Our naval base at St. Hewlett reports that Yuktabanian aircraft have launched a surprise attack on the port. The situation there is critical with widespread panic. Ships from the 3rd Ocean Naval Fleet docked at the port are currently under attack and taking heavy losses. Hurry to Port St. Hewlett and provide air cover for our naval vessels attempting to escape the bay. Among these ships is the aircraft carrier Kestrel. It is the flagship of the 3rd Naval Fleet and a critical combat asset. You must protect the Kestrel at all costs. I think the textures are going to kill me. This is Captain Snow. Call sign swordsman. Engaging next enemy formation. Give me a position. This is the AA cruiser Excalibur. The ship blocking us up ahead. You've got to move away. We can't use our spy radar. Clear to engage. Roger. Engaging at will. Blaze, engage. Edge, engaging. Chopper, engaging. I'll cover your six. All right, Blaze? Blaze, you take the lead. I'll go trail and follow. The tanker next to us just exploded! Where's the fireboat? It's spreading to our ship! Help us! Nobody saw them coming? Their ships are just sitting in anchor. This is like target practice. Enemy reinforcement detected. Heads up and get ready. Captain, you know how to give your commands? Cool! I'm ready for them anytime, so just Engage the enemy ships. Be flight. 
I shouldn't have looked. When that enemy plane crashed and covered the water in flames, there were people floating right there. I could see their faces. So many of them. Somebody stop this. I can't take it anymore. Even after you complete the mission, um, you can still get attacked like that was. Uh, and you can't really fight back. And if they kill you, you get to start over. One, two, three. One, two, three planes. Count them up, man. We're all back safe. I can't wait to tell the captain once they pluck him out of the ocean. Captain, Captain Bartlett, never returned to Sand Island. So I'm probably gonna save right here. The aircraft carrier Kestrel has survived the enemy attack and has broken through into open waters. Although the third Ocean Naval Fleet sustained considerable damage, it's still combat capable. So I'm going to save right here and then uh, upload this video and then I'm going to try and fix the damn textures if possible. But uh, yeah, I hope you boys uh, enjoyed this. I will see. Hang on, wait. Let me see if there's a cutscene first. When the rescue chopper arrived, the captain was nowhere to be seen. The only thing they found was the retreating enemy intelligence vessel. This island used to be a place of exile from the rest of the world. It then became our first line of defense against the enemy. Who will be the flight lead tomorrow? I wouldn't waste my energy worrying about that if I were you. We're an auxiliary squadron, you know, so His Highness the Lieutenant Colonel will just come down from the mainland and take over. That's all. Phew. I love this sound. Calms me down. I'm gonna sleep well tonight. 
I heard that the one who broke the captain's heart 15 years ago was a recon major in the Yuk Army. Yeah, I did my history homework. We were allies back then. Man, the base commander sure wasn't being subtle about making accusations. <laughs> was there anything suspicious about the captain's behavior, he says. Hell, I'm more suspicious about the screw in his damn head. Ah, you're kidding me. An air raid? Give me a break, man. So yeah, this is the, this is the next mission. But we're not going to do it. So, yeah. I'm going to stop it here.